Coach Rock here, the official trainer for I Love Basketball TV. So funny story, the other day, Coach Josh and I, we were in the gym, we were playing, running some five on five. Coach Josh hit this dude with a mean crossover. One of the meanest crossovers I've ever seen personally. It's like, Coach Josh, what, what move was that? It's like, man, that's a drunk cross. I was like, what? He said, that's a drunk cross. I was like, yo, you gotta break that down for the channel. I still can't even do it perfectly yet. That's why I want him to come on and show you how to do it. The move is nasty. Um, so you guys have a treat today. Coach Josh is gonna be showing you how to break down the drunk man crossover. Let's get straight into it. What's up, y'all? So Coach Rock wanted me to come break down the drunk cost to y'all. Uh, it's real easy. Basically, when I came down the court, it works dang, dang near 100% of the time. When I came down the court, came down calm, I caught him slipping. So I caught him with the lean, and when I went to cross, he jumped that way. Everybody in the gym went crazy. So, to break this down, break it down in a couple steps. The first part is opposite hand, opposite foot. So you want to pound, tap, and lean. So you're going to lean and tap the opposite side of whatever um, hand the ball is in. So it's the first step is a pound, tap, lean. So you can walk and practice that with either hand. Might look awkward, might feel awkward, but it's a pound, tap, lean. Just pound, tap, lean. Pound, tap, lean. Just to get that muscle memory used to the move because it's so awkward. Now once you get that down, the next part is the hop within the cross. This is a key. This is what's going to really get the dude to throw it off. It's really going to yank him. Now the way I do this, Coach Rock teaches how to do the scissors. So it's basically a scissors, but it's left and right. So when you're doing a typical scissors, it's right, right, left, right, right, left. So after you tap, on the first part of the jump cross, it's gonna be the same. Right, right, left. So you're gonna jump after the tap. But it's the same as the scissors, it's forward, but left and right. So again, I'm tapping, leaning, that's the first one. Second one is the jump. Right, right, left. The jump is really what's gonna get him because he don't know where your shoulders, your hips, the ball's over here, he's all confused. So once you get that down, you can just set up some cones and just go down the court. Again, right, right, left. Or if you're doing the other hand, same way, left, left, right. So it's pound, tap, pound, tap, lean. Pound, tap, lean, and then jump. So just go down the court, working it left and right instead of front to back. Just like the scissors, but left and right. All right, guys, so let's go through this again one more time, break it down real slow. First step is a pound and tap. Opposite, um, opposite hand, opposite foot. So it's balls in your left hand, you're gonna tap your right foot. Pound, tap. Get that down. It's got to happen simultaneously at the same time. Pound and tap. Now once you get that down, you're going to go into the second part, which is pound, tap, lean. It's all one motion. Pound, tap, lean. You already got your defender kind of going that way with the lean. Next is the hop. That's the third step. So after you're leaning, you're going to hop. The hop phase is going to be uh, three parts. Right right, left. So as soon as you hop, landing on that right again, and then you're going into that cross. It's basically an Iverson cross at that point. So pound, tap, pound, tap, lean, and then pound, tap, lean, hop. Again, the hop part is the same as the hesitation scissors. Just like you with scissors, you're just going to do it sideways. Nothing different. Same rhythm, everything. Same footsteps, right, right, left. Um, again, right, right, left. Same footsteps, it's just going left and right. It's that simple. Now that you got it down, the only way that this move is going to work really well is the setup. You got to set them up. You got to get to keep the defender guessing. Um, the first thing I do on my setup is basically a simple hesitation. Now, you coming down court, this is, this is especially good for point guards. If you're coming down court and you, want, you know you want to do this move, just get them with a simple hesitation right there. You do a light lean, nothing crazy like the drunk cross. Just a light lean, blow by. So now that he's already saw the lean and he saw the hesitation blow by, now when you come down, he's gonna see that same move and try to jump it. And that's when you hit him with the drunk cross and he's jumping that way and you're gone. So now you got the setup done. You set him up, you hit him with a drunk cross. So many counters you can do to this, it's crazy. You can get creative with it however you want. Um, some of my favorite counters is, I like to do a double setup actually. So the first one I showed you was the hesitation blow by. 
So the next thing I'll do is, I'll do the same hesitation, except for I won't blow by. I'll create space. So what I'll do is, hezzy, and then I just stop for the pull up. Got him jumping, so you create a space. And that's before you even get into any counters. It's just hesitation, pound, lunge pound. That's what, that's what I call it. Go again, hesitation, blow by. Get you a quick bucket. Come back. Hesitation, lunge, dribble, create that space, pull up. Now you got him like, what the heck is he doing? Like, he has no idea the drunk cross is coming. Next is, the, uh, this is one of my favorite counters because when I come and I drunk cross him, I hit him with the pullback. You create so much space because on the original drunk cross, you already got him leaning over there. Now he thinks he's going to the basket. You pull back, you got all kind of space. People in the gym be going crazy. Now lastly, this is a combination counter. I love it because, I mean, you just got the defender going everywhere at this point. You're coming down, hit him with the hop cross, jump cross, hit him with the snatch back, then the head is going into the lane. You got the defender going everywhere at that point. Uh, it's going to take a lot of practice, but that's why you go in the gym, right? You go in the gym to get that work in. So practice it up. Again, jump cross, pull back, hezzy, you're going into the rim, loader, layup, whatever.